What's going on guys, it's David here, and today I think I have finally found a shoe that is perfect for the CrossFitter who's also a sneakerhead. So stay tuned as we hop into the unboxing of the Adidas Pure Boost Trainer M. today's video make sure to hit that like button as well as subscribe because that lets me know I'm creating the content that you guys want to see so without wasting any more time we're gonna go ahead and hop into this quick little unboxing first impressions I'm gonna do a part two for you guys coming up soon so today guys we have a shoe that I did not even think that I would even stumble across just from the standpoint of I was not planning to buy shoes anytime soon I have been buying shoes like crazy at least I think about every single month new shoes that are coming out and I thought that there would be stuff that would be coming out during the Black Friday weekend but there really wasn't anything that I needed but earlier today I went and I stopped by the Adidas outlet and I came across the shoe that I never would have thought I would have came across and it's almost like this Yeezy trainer this is the pure boost trainer M this shoe is a, a I don't know man, the shoe it might be the Nano 8 killer. Uh, the, the shoe that you guys are looking for, um, I'm not sure what the Nano, 8, Nano 9s are, are gonna look like, but let me tell you that this shoe is kind of everything that I had hoped the Nano 8 was, but really wasn't outside of comfort. So this is the Pure Boost Trainer M. This features a Pure Boost midsole. Um, so if you're familiar with the Adidas line of Boost sneakers, you know that Boost is a midsole technology that is just really responsive. It's uh, uh, a way for Adidas to increase the cushion in shoes while also increasing the amount of energy that you can output or that the shoe returns to the ground, thus allowing you to run faster, jump higher, be more athletic now with the boost midsole this shoe is wrapped in the adidas uh, traction uh, outsole or the uh, rubber compound that they use it's kind of similar to some degree as the reebok and nano meta split which i have here in terms of patterning you can see that there is a little bit of a carryover not a whole bunch but there is some similarity we do need to remember that adidas owns reebok so in terms of technology there's probably going to be some similarity in how things are created so um moving on from that the shoe also features a a knit upper it's almost like a one piece upper very very similar to the Nano 8, the only difference is is that there's the strap here that comes around the top of the shoe that aids in helping with providing ankle support. So I think that was one of my biggest complaints with the Nano 8 is that there was not enough ankle support and I just felt like the upper on the shoe for the Nano 8 was just, it didn't mold to my feet like the um, Nike Flyknit material. But the minute that I put this on, I felt like I had the best of both, world, both worlds. I had the DSX Flyknit 2 um, upper on top of a Reebok Nano 8 midsole, which I love the Reebok Nano 8 midsole. Um, and, and this just does it. This just puts everything together. Um, I have not had a chance to actually train in these yet. I'm gonna be doing that tomorrow but I can say without a doubt that the shoe has been extremely comfortable as far as just testing out. If you've ever had a Boost uh, shoe, you know that Boost is ridiculously comfortable. This is actually my first pair of uh, Boost shoes, so I'm really, really stoked to give this a try. Um, I think this sole is also gonna be really good 
It's also gonna be really good for um, outdoor usage, rope climbs, things of that nature. But I'm really, really interested to see how the Boost midsole is going to respond to typical CrossFit workouts because we haven't had a shoe like this. I think, well, I take that back. There was the Crazy Power uh, TR. Um, and a bunch of like crazy power type shoes that came out and I think some of those had boosts um, But this is like the closest thing to the uh, Nano uh, in terms of Reebok in terms of Adidas putting something out that looks just really dope that um, Just yeah, like this is almost like a Yeezy CrossFit shoe. Um, I just really like what's going on here. I wanted the black and gum pair, but they did not have the black and gum pair, so I went ahead and went with this white on white color. And just the material on the upper is just so much better than the material on the Flyknit. Like this, or not the Flyknit, but the Nano 8. Like this, this knit upper is just, it's gonna hold together extremely well. Um, I do wish that this toe protection here right here was actually on the outside of the toe because I don't really know what this is actually going to protect right here but um, yeah I'm just really looking forward to checking out the shoe you can pick this shoe up right now for $120 plus shipping actually it might be free shipping but right now they only have the men's version because this shoe actually just came out I'm not sure how long ago it just came out but if you go on the Reebok site right now it just shows new if you go to your local adidas actually take that back adidas.com if you go to your local adidas outlet you, you might be able to get these that's where i got these um, they have the whites as well as the black these come uh there i got them for 55 bucks uh 61 with shipping or with tax and, and all that stuff so um yeah i'm really excited and really looking forward to testing these out and trying these out um not much to say outside of what we're seeing as far as uh, specifications and things like that um and yeah that's pretty much all that's really going on with the shoe like i said it's got a one piece upper it looks like it's like there's a tongue in there but it's actually all just one piece very very similar to the um uh, nano 8 the only difference is, is this um ankle strap upper or ankle strap that's providing a little bit more a little bit extra support that wasn't on the nano 8 i feel so um also for sizing um i actually went down half a size i usually wore 10 for these i went nine and a half just because um the the toe box is very again very very similar to the um nano 8s and when I purchased my Nano 8s, I wish I had actually went down half a size because the toe box is so big. Um, so I went down half a size on these, nine and a half, and they feel perfect. Um, They're a little bit tight, but um, I don't think it's gonna cause any problems. But again, like I said, the boost in these shoes is just amazing. Um, I, I can't wait to try these out. I'm gonna do a full week of testing on these, I think, and just kind of give you guys my thoughts at the end of next week. But this is just first impressions review for you guys hopefully you guys enjoy this so guys with that that's going to be it for this review all the links you guys need to see are down below if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to hit that like button as well as that subscribe button also tell me down below what is your favorite shoe of all time until next time may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black this is david and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace